Totality crosses the Red River and enters the state of Oklahoma at 1.43 p.m., where, despite only crossing through the southeastern corner of the state, over four minutes of totality will be visible from certain towns across the region. This is four minutes more totality than Oklahoma has seen collectively in the past 106 years, as the last total solar eclipse visible from Oklahoma crossed the northeastern part of the state on June 8, 1918. This time around, in April 2024, the most populous portion of the state, the Oklahoma City metropolitan area, home to over half a million people and encompassing cities including Norman, Moore, and Oklahoma City itself, is treated to a 93.7% partial eclipse. Totality isn't visible here, however, as over the next eight minutes, the shadow of the moon sweeps through the much more sparsely populated region that is southeastern Oklahoma. Even so, at least 20,000 people are expected to visit. Initial stop, Idabel, Oklahoma. Found just five miles off the center line, Idabel will be the first appreciable town in the state to see totality. Beginning there at 1.45 and 13 seconds, the umbral shadow of the moon will cover the 7,000 person town for over four minutes. 21 seconds go by until at 1.45 and 34 seconds, the town of Broken Bow, located less than 10 miles off the center line, sees four minutes and 16 seconds of totality. 50 miles to the northwest, and a whopping nine seconds later, the 2,000-person town of Antlers falls into darkness just before 1.46 p.m. for one minute and 55 seconds. Over the next three minutes, and I'll add, fittingly enough, given the Native American origin of the name Oklahoma, the eclipse sweeps through towns throughout the Choctaw Nation in the southeastern part of the state, including the towns of Finley, Neshoba, and Tallahena. An honorable mention goes to the town of Tuscahoma, which, in addition to having quite a memorable name, is also notable for having its post office directly bisected by the northern limit of the eclipse path. Deeper within the shadow of the moon, however, and at 1.48 p.m., the eclipse reaches the towns of Worcester and Pateau. Collective population, 9,900. Both located along the northern limit of totality and found just 30 miles from Fort Smith, Arkansas, each of these two towns will experience just shy of 90 seconds of a total solar eclipse. But totality doesn't wait around, because at 1.51 p.m., the eclipse leaves the state of Oklahoma, not to return for another 21 years. From here, for the next 150 seconds, the umbral shadow is contained solely within the state of Arkansas. However, this won't be the first time that afternoon that the shadow of the moon has touched our Kansan soil. Totality actually entered Arkansas six minutes prior, at 1.45 p.m., crossing into the extreme southwest of the state, near the towns of Ashdown and Dequeen, lasting there for just shy of four minutes. At its closest point, the shadow of the moon also fell less than 15 miles from the Arkansas-Louisiana border, leading to a maximum of a 99.7% partial eclipse near the town of Rodessa, Louisiana. However, Arkansas is where you really want to be. The eclipse cuts northeast, effectively bisecting the central part of the state. At 1.49 and 12 seconds, the eclipse reaches the city of Hot Springs, lasting for 3 minutes and 33 seconds. About 45 seconds later, at 1.49 and 56 seconds, totality reaches the town of Russellville. Home to 30,000 people and just 10 miles off the center line, Russellville could play host upwards of 150,000 visitors on April 8th, each prepared to see over four minutes of totality there. At almost this exact same time, the 90,000-person city of Fort Smith, just seven miles outside the path of totality, experiences a 99.91% partial eclipse, which, as many will tell you, isn't nearly enough. All who choose to stay there will miss out on the spectacle of a total solar eclipse occurring just a short trip away. As Fort Smith sees a deep partial eclipse, the state capital of Arkansas, Little Rock, home to 200,000 people and the 25th largest city inside the eclipse path, falls dark beginning at 1.51 p.m. for two minutes and 22 seconds. 50 miles to the northwest of Little Rock, along the center line in towns including Plainview, Atkins, and Shirley, the sky goes dark for up to four minutes 17 seconds. The eclipse then continues into the northern half of the state, 
lasting for 3 minutes 51 seconds in the town of Conway, 4 minutes 15 seconds in Clinton, and 2 minutes 18 seconds in the town of Jonesboro. Towns like these, and those nearer to the center line in northern Arkansas, with normal populations in the tens of thousands, could easily surpass 100,000 visitors on that Monday in April. Over the next several minutes, the moon's shadow leaves Arkansas, finally exiting entirely at 2 p.m. sharp. By 2 p.m., the shadow of the moon will have touched four more states, three of which, Missouri, Tennessee, and Kentucky, we'll discuss in the next episode.